This is Illumination of Mordor on Instant Replay Live. And we're, we're gonna... lighting shit up. <laughs> I set light to the piercing light, actually. Oh, actually, that's the name of the mission that we're on. Is piercing it really? Light. Did, yeah. Were you reading it and not realizing you were reading it? Oh, I think I have the volume up a little loud. Thinking of down. all the ways I could say Shadow of Mordor wrong, you know? <laughs> so, oh, specifically with bow attacks here on this mission. I wonder if so, that works with the shadow strikes. I was I was having a little bit of trouble playing this game and decided that it would be best to do some off-camera grinding. Went and leveled up a bunch and uh, got all the intel we would need. So hopefully we're gonna have a better time. Oh, that you was assured not. me you're not dying for the rest of this playthrough, right? Uh, that's yeah, the... that's absolutely. <laughs> I... You know it, man. <laughs> that's what happened. You're, you're just not gonna die. Oh, hey, look at that ability point. Nice. That's a good good thing. Uh, let's kill this guy first, and then apply the ability point. <laughs> the guy behind, in front of him, just like... Hmm. Mm -hmm. All right. What well, are ability points I should put in myself today? <laughs> yeah. I mean, that's basically what I'm doing right now, right? Like, if anyone could sneak up on me while I'm pointing these out. Um, Swift so finisher. finisher. I like that. I still haven't gotten my throwing daggers, which I really want to try. Wraith finisher. Victims of drain and flurry will explode. It's really great. It it seems like it's just too cool not to get, right? Yeah. Like, you don't turn down an explosion. So. I guess the one big level up we got Oops. off screen was uh, the, the stun vaulting. Yeah. When you jump, when you jump made, on people's heads, it stuns them. That made a huge difference in combat ability in big groups, so... We'll see how that goes down. Kind of like Mario now. <laughs> Jumping on their heads to, to stop them. Drop in on that. Oh yeah. Here we go. Here we go. Okay. How many more of those guys do I need? Two more. Dos mas. Por favor. Por favor. Mmm. Dropping those mad arrows. I need... So, <laughs> our mom called us today. Oh yeah. <laughs> We, While we were like between recordings, we were we were informed that our channel oh channel is cute. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <laughs> this is great news. Yeah, it's pretty much exactly the reaction we wanted. Yeah, we we've been trying to be cute our entire lives. Yeah, right. We finally accomplished it. So kawaii desu baka baka. <laughs> oh, well, I got that backwards. Kawaii baka desu desu. Um, <laughs> it's funny though. She she called and she was like, "Hey, what's the name of that channel that you do?" That's my mom's voice. Um, <laughs> <It's> terrible. <laughs> and, I was like, oh, uh, do I want her to watch this? Right, um, yeah, that's the, the I question. I did say I'd kill my mom over a kaiju. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. You're but just, every time you bring that up, you're increasing the odds the that odd she'll hear it. it. Yeah. yeah. I, I see, really, I want it to happen. Oh, um, no. <laughs> no, our mom's great, though. I mean, is she? she? Yeah, she's great. Um, <laughs> Nick Nick has the, the lifetime role of being the, uh, the difficult son. Yeah. And, uh,. I have the lifetime role of being the sweet one. So. Well, I mean, I'm not even the difficult one anymore because, That's true, like, yeah. we've, we've grown when I turned 18, I pretty much just kind of got out of family. You sure. know? Like, I moved on, and uh, so I feel like I, we had a pretty cliche dynamic though for our like childhood though. Like, yeah, um, I was older, and <laughs> no one understands me. Yes. <laughs> It's true. If, if I was being a brat, then Nick would sit on me. Uh, That's true. That did um, happen. But I do remember, I, I, don't, I think we haven't said this one, and I know you, it's one of your favorite stories. Uh-oh. The time when Mom uh, was, like, bickering at us for something, and <laughs> I just oh, put yeah. my hand on her mouth and said, <laughs> no, I put my hand on her yeah, eyes. Yeah, because her you eyes. were, like, the favored child, so you would never do her. these things. I, you know, yeah. I was always taking Mom's side, but <laughs> she was just... Incessant rambling, and I put my hands up to her eyes, closed her eyes, and I said, "She's dead. I can't believe she's gone." <laughs> and it just the, the the shock and fear on her face she of was, like not being part of the you know it was the like winning a, team, I guess anymore. It was like a Game of Thrones betrayal. Yeah, <laughs> she was like <laughs> it was pretty shocking. Uh, it was great. Uh, this dude has a lot of dudes around him. Uh, but brutalized somebody, man. Uh, oh yeah, good call. I wish I could brutalize him. You can. Can I brutalize? I'll brutalize this guy. Oh, his body. Oh! oh that that guy. did not go according to plan. He just creamed your pie. Oh, Norse goes back. We've dealt with him before. Oh, that guy. 
Man, so this, this... Oh my gosh, you know what this game reminds me of? Oh, we're speaking of, like, family and childhood. We used to go outside and just pretend that my, like, you know, sticks were swords. Yeah, and that's what this kind of feels beat like. Beat the crap just, out of each other. Yeah, over the top sword play. Yeah. yeah, I mean, whether you were there or not, like we fought each other too. But like, I would go outside and for hours pretend to be playing Dark Age of Camelot uh, with a stick. <laughs> Dark Age of Camelot. I'm not even joking, dude. Like the amount of time I spent pretending I was like fighting the Realm Wars outside in the woods oh behind my our house. Gosh. Like, that's sad. <laughs> sad is it? I don't know. I I, I, I was pretty happy being like. Uh, my a Norris Berserker, like in Midgard in our backyard, it was pretty. It was pretty brilliant. <laughs> the Midgard of our backyard. Uh, yeah, and I mean, dude, I had so much fun, and we still even today, like, well, I've told the story um, already at this point on the channel um, about how Rachel and I got together. You son of a bitch! Is he gonna? Oh, you are on my list. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's new to the game of the year that you got. Yeah, I've got the yeah exactly the game of the year. So I've got all the DC, DCs, DLCs. DCLs. Uh, I need to get away from this nonsense before I die. Yeah, you definitely need. <laughs> hey. Yeah. Why not enough? Yeah. Sure. Says the guy wielding a bow. <laughs> um, I, you definitely need the like, you've leveled up a bit, but you definitely need a healing ability. Uh, well, I did get one. Um, I ha now have the stealth kill one. Oh, uh, that's not as good. When and I have combat. a headshot one. Yeah, oh, headshot's pretty good. So I can do this. Can't see your health in here in bow mode, unfortunately. That is so many orcs. Yeah, it's a that lot of orcs. That that's... Oh, man. I, the, I guess that's the other great thing. Oh, what? Oh, what? No, How many? Oh, my God, it's some horse. Uh, uh, well, we uh, met him uh, off. Yeah. He is, uh... He's still doing it, though. He's still... Like, he's, talking a big game, and then he's gonna totally just wimp out. He wants to have you to himself. Oh, uh, <laughs> yeah. Tom Horn's a... Oh, the poison. feely orc. Poison is bullshit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. I say you probably want to go and heal somewhere, like, on, a, on, a, on some, yeah. some urban... Yeah. But I don't want to run away and then have them make fun of me. <laughs> <laughs> they'll, they'll be around. You'll it's, be able to... As long as you don't leave the green zone, they'll all be here looking for oh, you. Oh, really? Yeah. You can, right. you can step away from the fight for like, and then jump back in. Alright, I see some herb, herbs over here. Some herbs? Herbs. Herb, some herby herby. Hancock fully loaded? Oh, yeah. Wait. Herby herb fully loaded? Herby. Uh, yeah. Who's Herbie Hancock? Who's Herbie? I don't remember. Um, I don't <laughs> Herbie know. is the car. Yeah. And then so. Herbie Hancock, I think, is it, like a, is it a band? Is it a singer? I don't know. He's Someone, pouring out of this window. I know, it's awesome. Uh, someone is gonna feel like really upset with me for not knowing who Herbie Hancock is, though. Someone's gonna be like, I can't believe it. I can't believe you don't know esoteric random information about a time probably before you were born. <laughs> Get on our level, scrub. I'm, I don't know why I'm I'm being aggressive right now. I think this game draws out the worst in me. Well, okay. So I mean, uh, you. This is the first time in a series that you are behind the the wheel, like yeah. and talking, and it's. Yeah, it's it is hard. stressful, right? It is like, some work. Yeah. Um, oh, I'm gonna kill this guy. Meat Boy was at least like, even though it was pretty rough at times, like well, you had breaks well, because. Oh you died. my god! Yes. Okay. <laughs> yes. That ability is so good, and you can leap over someone's head and then do that, and it's yeah. ridiculous. I was just gonna say that it's like we have very different temperaments about things. Like I yeah. get a lot grumpier than. Uh, than you do, I think, in general. Sure, but I mean, we also we express our grumpiness in different ways too. But it's true. Um, this, the, the, like playing games, trying to talk. Can I jump and, out like, the window, please? It's definitely still stressful. <laughs> Victim. <laughs> I'm, I'm gonna have every captain here, aren't I? That's kind of amazing, though. I've never seen this many captains all together like that. Ah, oh, hate you assholes with your in. God damn it. Okay, and it's you again. So many. Grab some gerbage. There's a mushroom up in yeah, that, that little like, okay. light red circle next I to the Karagor cage. I see it. I actually released some Karagors right now. They're, one of these guys is probably afraid of Karagors. Um, where are the Karagor pits? So you see that, that, that three oh, red the claws? claws? Yeah. Okay, okay, got it. Let's go do that. It's a good Let's get the mushroom first. I mean, the, the thing is that once you release the Karagors, you step out of combat for a minute so they can die. 
Yeah. Um, it can be this are good too. too. Yeah. More guy flies. A few of them are enraged by more Put guy flies. Put some bees into this situation. Terrified. Yeah, oh, that's right. That's the guy who's afraid of everything. <laughs> <laughs> like, anything possible will terrify him. All right. Um, I see that mushroom right on the edge of the green. So, you know, I kind of want EverQuest next to have, like, the open world, like, Minecraft units, but I want this to be the common system. Like, I want that game. Oh, that would be incredible. Like, I mean, so, obviously not. I don't want EverQuest next to specifically be that, but I want a game that is that. Like, has the open world, like, the crazy, like... Where um, is that mushroom? Procedural, like, species, like, moving around and stuff. And has, like, this kind of combat. Oh, man, that would be... Adrian. All right, full health. Um... Do we want to uh, get into the thick of this, release some characters on the next episode of Instant Replay Live? Oh, wow. Are we at the end already? Yeah. Gosh. I suppose. We've, we've gathered <laughs> up. <at> that. <laughs> They're looking around. Yeah, we've, all right. We've next, gathered up the horde. We'll, we'll deal with them on the next one. Next time on Instant Replay Live, this bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> Really kick it. Kick Yo, it. plans, free stroke, Sonic Golf. Sonic Golf.